our way. So, Coach, we're in the midway point of spring practice. Uh, how pleased are you with the defense, especially the linebackers? You know, I, I tell you, I see some guys stepping up. I thought we had our best day yet today. I thought uh, Salamo stepped up, trying to push him more into a leadership role. You know, he's coming back. He has a lot of good experience and uh, just trying to get, continue to, you know, not put too much on DJ. The expectations are high for him. I uh, just got to kind of bring him along slowly and cont continue to develop. There's been so much talk about losing uh, nine starters You're going against an offense that's pretty well established. I mean, is that the trend have you been seeing in the well, spring? Well, you know, I, I mean, there's there's teams all over the country who have lost really good players, so everybody's pretty much in the same boat. You know, every year there's going to be good players leave your team, uh, maybe not in that, you know, uh, quantity. Uh, so, but it is a challenge to bring inexperienced players. We've thrown a lot at them. Uh, I think they're picking it up very well. Uh, again, we just got to continue to make sure that we focus on building that foundation. Uh, and, and the more, the, the better foundation you lay, then the more complex you can get as you move move, move forward. Can you talk about some of the special teams changes or things you're trying to emphasize there? Yeah, I, I think one thing is just making them understand how, how it relates to the big picture. You know. Uh, how special teams is tied to offense and defense. I mean, it, we can create field position. The thing about special teams, you can create momentum, changes in a the game. There's nothing more that excites a crowd than a big punt return for a touchdown. There's nothing more that can swing a game than, than uh, causing a fumble on kickoff cover, getting the crowd in, and then a quick strike by your offense. So I think just an emphasis on making them understand the, that it just isn't everyone else. We got to have our our players on offense, our players on defense contribute on special teams, and then we have to have people accept their role as a special teams player and understand how it, how it relates to winning and losing. Todd mentioned something about the snap on uh, and punt situations that they noticed that you guys are doing a little bit differently this year. You know what he was talking about there. Uh, you know, I mean the, the main, rhythm. Yeah. yeah. The, well, the the main thing is for a punter, it's like a golf swing. You have to be able to, you know, catch, secure the snap, and then kick on rhythm. And when the snap is lo in the same location, uh, it, it helps the punter stay on rhythm. If he's not sure if he's got a step to the right or it's going to be up high, it, it, what it does, it throws him off of his rhythm. And it's all about rhythm. It's all about getting that ball off, you know, in 1.9 uh, seconds or less. Uh, and if you do that, the chances of that punt getting blocked are, are, are slim to none. So unless we just bust an assignment. So uh, that's the main thing is getting a consistent snap, getting, uh, getting the punter to kick on time and rhythm.